Hello. Hey, it's Ron and Lauren, and we're gonna make a video for you guys to answer some questions that have been asked to us on Facebook and Instagram about what we're doing with the trip, um, some things that you guys might be wondering about, and um, yeah, and give you an introduction to our, our rig here. All right, question number one are, how are the kitties taking to the road? Well, there's two of them right here, Coco and Booger, and they normally free roam the van, but we have them hooked up on a, a leash, like a restraint system here, so that they can't run wild. And Durf and Cup are underneath the table, and they like to reside there and relax, and we have their food bowls and such. Okay. They're, do they're doing good. They're doing good. They're, their overall health and well-being is good, and they're very happy. All right. Second question is, how is the van life? <sighs> I haven't set an alarm since we've been in here, so it, it feels great. What do you say, Lauren? Uh, I think it's been pretty good. I mean, you know, it's not much different than being in an apartment, um, in my opinion. I mean, you know, we have everything we need in here, so I dig it. All right, let's see. Our next question is, where is the route going? Um, the route is scheduled to go... See, look, here's one coming out right now. So if she Hi, comes out, we'll simply hook her up. No. I don't think that'll be a problem, <laughs> though. Um, the route is, is slated to go down into California, essentially running I-5 down to I-10, which uh, intersects around Culver City. We're going to see an episode of Jeopardy there. Um, spend a couple days in L.A. enjoying the sights of uh, Los Angeles. Yay. And then we're going to head um, east on I-10 all the way into Jacksonville and along the route, hitting several different spots along the way. Kind of whatever whatever pops up. All right. The next question is, where do you pee in the middle of the night? I love this, and I knew that it was going to get asked, so I wanted to give a demonstration. But girl, you're going to go up real quick. All right, hold on. you got to put up cut because she is getting rambunctious. There you go. <laughs> oh, Ron's butt. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, right here we have the cat litter box. Mm -hmm. Kitty litter. Nothing special there. And this right here is what's called a Thetford uh, camper potty. It's essentially just a, a, um, a camper toilet. No big deal. It actually has a flush function and a, a holding, a kind of a black water holding container. Kind of like a small version of an RV toilet. It is clean. Basically, it opens up. You open this guy. You do your business. And then you hit the flush here. And it actually flushes, flushes water. And then when you're done and you need to dump it out, you just simply unhook this guy. I just did this 10 minutes ago. <laughs> and then you're simply able to carry your, your little guy in wherever you need to. It's wet because I just washed it out. We just cleaned it prior to doing this video. But you turn your spout, undo the cap, and then you simply empty it out. It's not gross. It's not weird. It doesn't get on you. Nothing weird like that. You fold it back. Put it down here, and then it simply snaps back into place. The water that you flush with goes inside of this little tank here. Um, yeah, and it uses RV chemical, um, probiotic chemical, so it doesn't smell or nothing, nothing weird like you would think. All right, and that's where we pee in the middle of the night. Mostly me, because I wake up at like 15 times in the night to pee. All right, this next question is a Ronald-specific question. I got, I got male privilege. <laughs> so the next question is for you specific. It is, does my beautiful Lauren keep you company, or does she sleep all of the time? Wow. <laughs> Way to put me on the spot. <laughs> um, she keeps me company. She's a, a great, a great um, partner, a great teammate, a great companion but she loves to sleep. 
That's true. A hell of a <laughs> lot. So I'm kind of envious because it's like a light switch. When it when it goes out, she can go from <laughs> mid sentence to snoring in about 20 seconds. It's true. Been I, that way I, since birth. <laughs> I'm not quite that way, and that's why we have the television and Wi-Fi and computer yeah. and everything set up in the van. All right. Next question is: Will you pick up hitchhikers? Hell no. And not just because we're assholes. <laughs> Because hitchhikers, whether they mean to do you harm or not, they may be on the road for a variety of reasons. Ours is to travel, theirs may be, they might have a warrant. We might find ourselves pulled over harboring a fugitive. They may have uh, drug paraphernalia, even if it's, you know, a marijuana pipe. There's some states in the South that, unlike Oregon, don't allow that kind of stuff. Um, so it could be, um, it could be very bad for us. So we're, we're choosing not to. Um, not to mention that this is our home, our personal belongings in he are in here. Things that are, you know, not only worth money, but some things that are also sentimental to us or necessities for our animals as well. So, no. Hell okay. no. Uh, next question is, where is your first stop? I believe we kind of already covered that one, though. Um, Portland, um, Oregon. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're still in Oregon, um, up until the 10th, so. Up until uh, Saturday morning. Anyone that wants to see us, come to our going away party on the 8th at the Underground. Okay, next question is, how will you be cooking your food? Special cookers or fire? And how long do you think you'll explore each place? Oh, so as far as cooking food is concerned, actually really easy. So we have an inverter and uh, dual batteries on online in the rig right now. Um, we have a, I should have bought it years ago. Let me hop up in here. Coco, booger, share with daddy real quick. <laughs> um, so we've got this little bullet and we bought it yesterday. We actually brought a full-size blender and decided to chuck it. This is the type where you put the lid on it and you drink from it when you're done blending. It was $14. It's amazing. Uh, we do a lot of protein shakes. A lot of you know that we did Herbalife um, nutritional supplements for an amount of time as a business. I personally still use those products every day. So um, Lauren and I have a shake, sometimes two shakes a day for two of our meals. Um, we have snacks, we have other items. If we don't want to blend, we do have um, a hot plate, a hot plate with a pot. And I'm gonna answer the next question that you guys are probably thinking that we don't have written down. Where in the hell do you use these items at? Well, if you follow the Annie, the Vanny Instagram, you'll see this project when we built it up and you'll know that what I'm sitting on here is actually a bed and a table. So this folds up into a table. Um, we can cook on that. I can also take the press board out of the window that we have here and lay it down if I just wanted to use it as a cooktop, like a, a table per se. Um, so that's how we utilize it. We can also hook into the inverter up front. We have power outlets in the cab and back here. So we can, um, you know, cook up there or, or back here. Yeah, and the second part was, how long were we going to explore each area? I think that kind of depends. Um, depends yeah. on stop, how it is, yeah. if we're liking it. If we're there and we're like, oh, this sucks, we're not going to obviously stay there and put ourselves or the cats in any sort of danger. So, yeah, um, yeah. It, it, it really it all, depends. It, it, it's not on a timeline. It just depends on how much we enjoy it. Um, and that's pretty much it. All right. The next one was, where are you going and how are the cats doing? Um, I believe we answered both of those at this point. Um, I-5 South to 10 to Florida. <laughs> Some stops in between, and the cats are doing good. Cats There's are, Crayola, cats are doing good. I, Booger, a, and Coco. I'm, I'm, I'm personally on a, on a 0 to 10 scale. I'm doing about 9.75. <laughs> so. Ah, uh, dork. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see what our next question is here. I'm Where? being lassoed. I'm being lassoed. Oh, no. Attacked it, by cats. It's like I'm an at, -AT. Oh, no. It's like you're Indiana Jones. <laughs> All right. Let's see. The next question is, um, where do you shower? How many hours of driving do you do a day? And how do you stay warm at night? Oh, how do we shower? So, um... No, we're not stinky hippies. We have an LA Fitness membership. Um, it is canceled, but we're good till the 13th. We go in there, we get warm showers. I have this Old Spice Bear Glove kit that has the deodorant and the shampoo and everything. everything. Um, Lauren also has similar 
similar kit products yeah, yeah so 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 we're we're taking care of with that when we're on the road kind of wherever you know we have the ability to use um truck stop showers um ymca ymca god forbid you want to go swim somewhere you know like somewhere natural like a stream a river mm -hmm. a lake you know there there's there's substitutions and ways and there's also the good old uh, the old uh my mom what did my mom call it a, a whore bath I think so. It was oh, like the, you, know. you know, basically an old army, like a field bath, you know, with, with a little bit of water, a little, you know. Armpits and crutch. <laughs> yeah, hit, hit the areas. There's never an excuse for being clean and smelling good. So there's always a way that we can do it. So mm -hmm. um, the second part is how many hours of driving do you do a day? Um, at this point, we aren't really driving too much because we're just staying local. Um, we will be heading out on the 10th and then that the drive yeah. time will also vary kind of depending on where yeah. we're going how long we're staying etc I, I would like to to guess around 200 miles or four hours tops per day but it all depends on what services are around um what oh this is interesting there she's going to use the litter box with the leash on <laughs> well as long as she can get in there that's all that matters all right but yeah about about Four hours or 200 miles depends on how we feel what's going on and um, how much we like the place if we love it we might stay three days if we don't it might be 20 minutes all right and the last part of this question was how do you stay warm at night that nine million blankies i brought <laughs> yeah all right there there's a million blankets there's more blankets up there um well we also have propane heat if you look right here you can see the propane tanks. We have about six one pound tanks. We've got a, a little buddy. It's a Mr. Heater, little buddy propane heater, as well as a 1500 watt um, electric heater that we can run as well. Mm -hmm. Haven't had to use any of them. Uh, the blankets keep us- mm -hmm. In the insulation. Yeah, in the insulation. Yeah, there's yeah. insulation on these windows back here. So it yeah, keeps it nice. Keeps us, keeps us nice. Even when it's 32 degrees outside, we stay at about 52 to 59. So, with right. with four blankets a piece, it's um, <laughs> pretty good, pretty, pretty comfortable. Um, let's see. The next question was about kitty litter. So that there is the cat litter box. Um, yeah. It gets scooped each time they use it. Um, we won't scoop it on video here because that's just kind of you know no yeah. one needs to see that. If you have cats, you know what it looks like. But as you like. can see, she's right there. She's uh, she's in there using it. <laughs> she's making great use of it. Yeah, right she's now. making great use. So, um, yeah, so we clean and then how the floor, like at their stuff here, we have this little broom and we just sweep it out. So, you know, it's not too bad. It's uh, actually yep. cleaner than it was in the apartment. So that's kind of rad. That's right. All right. Um, next question is, did you put things in storage or are you traveling with everything or are you hauling? <sighs> that's, that's so, it. <laughs> that's, that's so it. <laughs> these drawers here, um, top drawer is Ron's, middle is mine, bottom is food. Underneath the bed, these little um, platforms here have storage. So pretty much everything that we own is in there with the exception of, I think, four boxes total that um, was sent to my dad's house to kind of for safekeeping. But everything else that we own is in this van with us. Yep. All right. As weird as that may sound, as bad as that might sound, it's the most freeing thing you'll ever do. We made combined, what, Four to five thousand dollars on selling stuff. We yeah. probably gave away another two thousand dollars worth of stuff. Yep. It's it's the most freeing experience you'll ever have. I agree. And for someone that collects a ton of stuff, um, it definitely was good to get rid of the things. And I, I will say that my stress level has gone down about a hundred and ten percent. So that's awesome. Uh, next question is: Are you guys living in Annie? Yes. Yes, we are. We are full-time in Annie at this point. We are, we are full-time uh, RVers in, uh, in Annie the van. All right. And our final question... And, and couldn't oh. be happier. <laughs> and couldn't be happier. Please please acknowledge that. Couldn't be happier, happier. Not, not waking up uh, to an alarm clock that we want to smash, not having <laughs> to punch the clock, not having to have a, a dickhead boss, not having to have obligations. We wake up and we have all the time in the world to uh, do whatever we want to do. Yeah. All right. Um, final question is, where will the kitties be if you both leave the van to go to a store, especially when you are somewhere hot? How are you cooking food, like an RV park and camping situation? 
So the second part of that question of cooking we've already answered. As far as the cats, um, they're pretty much just staying in the van at this point. If we're anywhere that's hot, we do have an air conditioning unit that will be set up in a back window for them and for us. Um, obviously, we don't want us or the cats being overheated or in any sort of pain. So, you know, we're just making sure that, you know, everybody's comfortable, kept warm, cool when needed. Yeah. Um, definitely cool is not needed at this point because it is nice and freezing out here right now. Yep. So. And, and, and just so that everybody knows, we are taking safety precautions with the propane heat. We do have a CO monitor. Mm -hmm. We have a carbon, uh, carbon monoxide detector. We also have a humidity and a, a thermostat up there. What do you call a, a 